Resignation in the chess game is quite common. Resignation is a respectful gesture in chess in which your opponent acknowledges that you will find all the best moves and win the game. Some players resign after having a losing position. And some keep playing playing and resign after they are just one move away from getting checkmated. But have you ever heard that someone resign on a winning position? Eh, they must be noobs new to chess newcomers. But what if I tell you they were grandmasters who can calculate all the possibilities in chess who resign in a winning position? So let's talk about it with a couple of examples. This very first example is a game which majority of you have seen. It is between highest rated female chess player UE Fun versus currently world number 3 Hikaru Nakamura. In this position, Nakamura has black and Yui Fun has white. With the engine perspective, game is draw, but Yui Fun has two passers on the queen side and Nakamura has to do something about it. Here Nakamura plays rook to d7, so he's aiming at d2 square to double up the rook on the second rank and attack g2 pawn. And here Yui Fun has just one thing, c4 just push the pawn to promotion. Nakamura executed his idea and Yui Fun just keep pushing the pawn and here after rook takes g2 she just slides the king on the third rank. It's a draw if Nakamura keeps giving checks but Nakamura goes for the win with f5. In the end Nakamura was able to box her king all the way to h4 and takes h3 is a checkmate so here Yui Fun resigned but no she's actually winning if she just promote her pawn to queen. Now rook takes h3 will not work because she just can takes with the queen. But she resigns so chess blindness do exist in this game. You guys can argue oh come on it's speed chess oh yeah so let's jump to example number 2. This game was played in Dutch Open Chess Championship between Grandmaster Vyacheslav Ikonikov versus Fede Master Reiner Odendal. Here Grandmaster has a winning position and he plays g3 with the intention of a sneaky sacrifice. After knight takes g3 he plays queen to h3. Here mate is threatened on g2 so knight to e1 by fm. And here Grandmaster plays the unexpected queen takes g3 and here fm just resigned the game. But no, now white is completely winning because after he takes the queen in f2, he can't move to h2 because black just can bring the queen so he has to move to f1. Black don't have bishop to g2 as this square is covered by the knight so he has to take the knight but in the end of this variation king will have a safer square on c3. This is the last example and this is for you guys to solve. Here black has played b2 and just one square away from the queening and white just resigned the game but white is completely winning here and this is for you guys to tell me why white is completely winning.